We'll scale shot here and just pick up the KO. Hopefully, it's gonna be close. Definitely could be uh, max HP Nine Tails here. Come on, baby, give us five. Give us five. Didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. We are going to be using Loaded Dice, Terra Dragon, Swords Dance, and Scale Shot Sceptile. Um, let me move myself. And you can see the team. Um, we're going up against uh, Florian here. They got a pretty strong looking team. Dual weather with some screens. Um, this Sceptile uh, is a set I've been kind of dying to use um, since we found out he was going to be coming back. Uh, with Terra Dragon, you kind of get that same coverage as the old um, Mega Sceptile, but now it's kind of like a Nat Dex set. Um, so we got the Stab Scale Shot with a load of dice. We're getting four every time. Still got our Stab Leaf Blade. Um, we're adamant with Swords Dance because this Pokemon does not hit very hard. I think it's base 85 attack. Really, really not that strong. Um, oh, what do I want to lead here? Um, I think Ace. I think we lead Ace uh, and then just kind of go from there. Um, but yeah, and the other thing with this Pokemon is we are also Overgrow. We are not um, over, We are not Unburdened because uh, we don't want our Loaded Dice getting knocked off. So if we happen to live an attack... Um, we want it to put us in overgrow to strengthen our leaf blades. So, guys, if you're new, subscribe. We'd love to have you um, as part of the crew. Um, I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of 2024, so you can help me with that. If you enjoy what you're seeing, like I said, subscribe. Let's get to 1,000. Anyway, on to the game. Well, who we got to start? Kind of thought it would be this. This is a part of why we led Cinderace here. Um, yeah, I don't hate our position. We, we definitely just Pyro Ball to start. Pretty solid damage. That's probably max HP. We'll get the burn. We do get the burn. And they will Veil. So we are the Court Change set. Um, so we will be bringing that Veil over to our side. Um, and then we're going to just, uh, we're going to see what we can do with Sceptile after that. That is the plan. Not a lot of hazard control on this team. This team's not like super highly competitive. Okay, so they're gonna bring in Pelipper. I am sort of potentially okay just sacking this to get. Because like, what do we really need this for anymore? It doesn't really beat anything, so maybe like Gallade if it's not Scarf. So yeah, we're gonna court change. We're gonna we're gonna take their veil. Penjalugon. Okay, so our Chaladin coming in. We take the Aurora Veil for ourselves. And let's just, uh, like I said, we can sack this. So let's just burn it at this point so we can start getting some chip damage. Reduce the damage um, put out by uh, Body Press. And we'll just go from there. All right, they do immediately electroshock. This might KO, might KO. So this thing could get a little, little out of control. This is the one thing that's kind of stopping, um, kind of stopping Septile from really sweeping. Um, I'm trying to think of a way. You know, what's a good way to get? Um. Uh, We could go into Swampert here. Uh, if they Draco, good play, but we could go into Swampert here. I think they would Electro Shot because they want another um, they want another charge to make sure they KO the Cinderace. So they do Electro Shot. And then it's uh, not not gonna not gonna work out for him. So Taking a look at our team. Also, how many turns of Veil do we have left? No idea. Oh, five. Okay, okay, okay. So that was that was probably Focus Sash. Um, I'm just trying to think. What do we get? What do we get Sceptile out in front of? 
Maybe Pelipper? Maybe Pelipper? Uh, I will just Earthquake. Just to get some chip on this thing. I think maybe they'd be kind of inclined to Draco. Oh. Never mind, guys. Never mind. Let's, uh... You, you, I'll play them one time and, and they've had enough. Let's get another one. Super scary looking Sun Team here. Um... So now this is this is kind of interesting. This is how do we how do we fight lead spider? You know, I feel like I did not account for lead spider. Um, maybe we just lead with the guy, and then if it's nine tails, we can just go out into. Uh, Dragapult or something. I think, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's 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 try it. Let's try it. I did not account for Spider, Araquanid. That's his real name. Bro, hanging out with Score Bunny. Love it. That's the starter I I started with in Gen Eight. Who did you start with? All right, Spider lead. Huh. Okay. Um, immediately goes to the <laughs> to the calcs. Araquanid. Hmm. If we go to a septile here, and let's say we get to plus two, these are all boots, right? Like, hmm, because he's gonna leech life. Well, he could put us, he'll put us in Overgrow. Yeah, okay, let's Swords Dance. He's gonna put us in Overgrow. Oh my god, we live with one HP. That is a natural one. Who has priority that I have to fear? A lot of them. The bear, okay. Yeah, we just Leaf Blade. And we hope that they go to nobody that has priority. Let's see, they've got two guys with priority in the back. Okay, they go out to their son. Uh, scale shot on a nine tails, I think we... Oh, we do have Earthquake for this. We don't even have to Scale Shot. But I kind of want a Scale Shot. But we'd have to tear at a Scale Shot. They would most definitely go out to one of their Priority Mons after that. We can just Raw Earthquake if we want. But I don't want to... Yeah, I'm a Scale Shot. Um, I don't want this to be... Um, Focus Ash. That's what I was going for. Don't want this to be Focus Ash. So we'll scale shot here and just pick up the KO. Hopefully. It's going to be close. Definitely could be uh, max HP Nine Tails here. Come on, baby. Give us five. Give us five. Didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. Just a couple bad rolls and a couple good rolls. Yeah, this is a uh, hundred percent. He is going to, uh, he's gonna electro clap here, or whatever it is. Um, so we go to what a swampy boy on that. Good job, Swampert. We have to somehow get rid of the priority on this team, and then the thunderclap. This is probably this should be a free earthquake. Yeah, they've got absolutely no switch ins to Earthquake here. So we will, in fact. Oh! What's the Terra? 
Terra Grass, okay. Okay, okay. It's gotta be Terra Blast too. Okay. Shiced. Absolutely shiced. Okay, alright. That complicates matters. We had an easy win con there that we did not, that we just kind of lost. So, I think we gotta go here and put up a screen. We might get, um, might get mega smoked here by a Draco. But we'll put up a screen. Dragon Pulse, okay. All right, good thing it's not uh, Draco Meteor. Um, I don't know if we necessarily need to Thunder Wave this, so um, oh, they do have a physical attacker in the back. However, they did lose their Sun. Let's see if we can tell how many turns are left. Just one. So I will actually Thunder Wave this, and then maybe we can get like a free turn off of it or something. And then they do break through. All right. Curse body, goaded ability. All right. So what? How do we? Uh, what's our plan of attack here now? I think we have to go here. Uh, and we could actually U-turn on the. Um, we could U-turn, because we get big damage um, if they stay in, otherwise if they switch to Gouging Fire. We can, uh, okay, so they do like to stay in. Take a little bit of damage, okay. And now, honestly, we, we kind of just start cycling, like, U-turns and, and stuff like that here. And they get paralyzed. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I will actually, um... I will actually put up Stealth Rocks here, too. So that was probably Heat Rock. Looks like the sun is still going. That was Heat Rock Nine Tails. So we'll put up, um, Stealth Rock here. They're going to poo. Who should take anything we throw at them pretty pretty well. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we can put a mad work with X. So I'll just earthquake for chip. It was getting, getting kind of scary. Sunlight faded. It must be moonlight. Critical hit, we take those. Blood moon. Big damage. Put them with our poison heal. Let's check our screen turns here too. We've got two turns of light screen so we can pivot out into somebody. And we should be able to soak up probably a hyper voice or something like that. I'm assuming they're probably going hyper voice. So we'll go to ace. Terra Blast normal, okay, cool. And then we will just Pyro Ball. Hopefully, okay, perfect, they give us this. So it's one more priority user down. Then the light screen wore off, okay. This game's good, this is a close game. This is a really close game. Their Gouging Fire could still absolutely put in some work. Definitely. All right, they're going right to it. Um, I think what I do here is I 
U turn. I probably have to sack, honestly. I don't want to, but I probably have to sack, sack the feature. Because he's not doing anything at this point, and we need to keep our focus sash intact. I can't just take raw damage on Batman like that, so we'll go to Septile, unfortunately. Thunderfang, rest in peace. Alright, so we will go Batman here. We do have to protect one time, I think. Just to preserve some HP. And then they go Temper Flare. And now we Earthquake. The Burning Bulwark. Doesn't really matter because we're not making contact, we're already burned. And they actually kind of just gave us more recovery, so that's not a very good play on, our, on my opponent's part. Uh, then I'll protect one more time. Alright, then they withdraw. Go into Electro Furia. Alright, let's take a look here. Who do we got left? Got Ace. Who honestly is potentially the most expendable member at this point? Potentially? Don't really think so. It's all you turn for some chip. Good chip, good chip. And we will go out to Cinderace. We're going to need um, Lucario to kind of finish this game for us. Lucario and Gliscor. And a Terra Blast. Oof. Critical hit. I think Thunderclap still just kind of takes us out. But I'm actually going to go for the read on that. I'm going to double into Gliscor on the Thunderclap. Dragon Pulse, okay. They go for the mid-ground. Smart. Did it crit us again? No, this... Okay, dude's just really strong. Um... Then we U-turn again. Yeah, we just make this... It's kind of like the same... It's, it's the same exact play. Because we're still sacking Cinderace like we were initially planning to. Oof, this is a this is a tight end game here. We gotta we gotta navigate this one perfectly. So we go to we go to Batman. We go to Batman. We U turn. Okay, and he gives us the sack. Perfect. Go to Batman, we U-turn, and I think Lucario cleans this one up. Um, gouging fire. Or Lucario. And they never got hazards up, so... Really, it's going to come down to... The speed on our Chaladon. You know? Like, can it outspeed our Goliath score is the thing. Which it'll be really close. The Aura Sphere. If they're slower than us, which I don't think they are, um, this Gouging Fire, I think 
the scouting fire should be faster. So they should take us down to the sash. Okay, they temper flare. We hold on with our focus sash. And then we will Aura Sphere our Chalodon. And then clean up with Gliascor. Super, super close game right here. Alright, is this boy a Salt Vest? Aura Sphere coming in. And they were not. So, Lucario cleaning up. Good start for Sceptile here. Getting to show a little bit of what he does. Didn't get didn't get too much. Didn't get to sweep a whole team. But pretty good start for Sceptile. Alright, so pretty scary looking Sun team. Superior kind of concerns me. Um, yeah, this team's really strong. However, Sceptile is pretty good against this team. Um... I mean, I feel like it's got to be a Torkoal lead. Um, this is going to seem like a weird... It's going to seem like a weird... Um, a weird move, but I'm going to go... I'm going to lead with X first. And just kind of see what that takes us. Because we can get some big damage off on the Torkoal on turn one. See if we can just kind of break that Torkoal a little bit. So uh, we need to weaken it for Sceptile. Suicune lead, okay. Oh, pfft. super Suicune, I get it, I get it. Interesting that they would lead this. But if they're Scarfed, I suppose I get it. Um, I will definitely just Aura Sphere. Flamethrower, we don't really care about that because we got the Sash. And then we get a little bit of chip off on this. We are modest, so... Perfect, alright, good chip. So now, where do we go from here? We could... We go Swampert. I think we like Swampert. So we are modest, so they could just naturally... We, they might not be Scarfed, but... Yeah, they might just naturally outspeed us. Another flamethrower, we'll eat that right up with our assault vest. And we get burned. That's a huge, huge blow, actually. That's actually really, really, really bad. Um, I will flip turn out. Okay, so that that tells me that they're scarfed. The fact that they just switched out there. Alright, superior comes in. Now this guy could get a little scary. Um, I think we will definitely just go Cinderace though, just to kind of force force some pressure here, even if they go. Um, okay, leftovers. Yeah, we definitely still just Pyro Ball. Like even looking at the team, it doesn't really matter. Like even if they go into Torkoal, we can always just pivot out. Um, so we will we will definitely just Pyro Ball here. That's fine. Like I said, if they. If they go to, um, oh, Manny. All right, this dude's gonna eat a pyro ball. Big damage, that tells me that's really offensive. So from here, I think we pivot into Batman. If they ice spinner, good play, good play. Can't stop that. Just in case they're scarfed, I didn't wanna just U-turn into it. So that's why I elected for the hard switch here. They do knock, okay. That is unfortunate. Okay, it's Life Orb. Alright, good knock from them. That's a good play. Um, I think... I do want to get some rocks up. Is it worth getting rid of this? Not really. This is actually still pretty good into their team. Um, just trying to think. Let's just—I guess we just protect to see if they have ice spinner. 
Okay, and this is fine, because if they go into Suicune, as they do, we we just go right back into right back into our guy. So next time if we force this, we stealth rock on that play. Right back into Swampert we go. It sucks that we're burned, but at this point now he's literally just here to soak hits and flip turn out. And find us a good matchup. <laughs> So we'll see what they want to do here. All right, they pump. Does a lot of damage. Um, we will flip turn on a potential miss. They probably won't. They've really done our they've really done our Swampert dirty here. Really done our Swampert dirty. Mm, so now I think what we do is we go to Yzma. And because I think they're scarfed, I will actually elect to I'm going to put up a... let's see, who's going to come in? I guess it doesn't really matter what I put up. Um, but that'd be light screen or reflect, so I think... I guess we'll just light screen first, just in case I want to stay in. I don't think they should. I don't think they will. That is definitely scarfed. And then Manny comes out, I'm guessing they will knock off here as well. But I will put up another Reflect. And then they knock. So I'm going to pivot into Gliscor here to get up some Stealth Rocks. And then from there we might go with... We might go with Sceptile. We got Screens up. We'll get Rocks up. We could sack, just kind of force the issue. I don't think we knock out Torkoal. Let's see, Sceptile. Yeah, so we'll put up the Stealth Rocks. Let's see, Sceptile. To Torkoal, let's say just the OU Sunsetter, physically defensive, if we're plus two. Earthquake's doing 59 to 70, so... Hmm, we need plus four for a one-hit KO. But not after Stealth Rock, actually. El Dorado. Not on a balloon, either. Okay. I'm totally down to just Earthquake. Honestly, we want them to make it rain here. That would be pretty awesome. Perfect. So now here, what we could potentially U-turn as well. They don't. They won't go. Yeah, you know what they'll do is they'll probably go superior here. Oh, into Manny. Okay. Then we U-turn. All right. Do they knock off? I don't think they will. They won't knock off. They think that we're unburdened. Alright, let's try it. Let's try to get the sweep right now. Let's see. Let's see if Sceptile can do the thing. Alright, one SD. Hopefully they switch. Then they go Torkoal, right? Mmm, they stay in. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay. Oh, and then they Rapid Spin. Okay. 
The rapid spin did do a decent amount of damage. So now... They are probably faster, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we'll leave Blade. They do knock. That sucks. That sucks. Probably could have SD'd again there. But maybe, maybe we don't need the dice. Maybe Sceptile is that much of a boss that he just gets, gets what he needs right there. So I'm kind of hoping we see... Oh, Terrapagos. Uh, I'm going to Terra. Yeah, I'm going to Terra and I'm going to Swords Dance. I'm going to see if we can get the sweep from here. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see, for plus four, Terror Dragon. We need a lot of scale shots. So we're sitting at plus four here. Hey, we take those. You burned our Swampert earlier. I don't even feel bad. So let me Earthquake and let's see. Alright, there's one. I'm expecting they would go out to their scarf guy here. Man, I would, uh, now, it, now if we were unburdened, that'd be really funny, but... Maybe they think we're unburdened. Maybe they think we're unburdened. They're probably like, oh man, I just lost. We're gonna need a lot of scale shots for this, but let's let's just say, let's just say we get them. How many do we need on Superior? Ah, they so they do get the glare off. They're faster. Big damage. Two, of course. <laughs> of course, we only get two. Ah, never lucky. If we still had our dice, we'd be sitting golden. Skill shot again. Leaf storm. Yep, definitely should not knock us out. Alright, so we're paralyzed. Plus two. Still sitting at 339 speed, which is pretty good. However, we have to deal with this protosynthesis guy now. Alright, out to Suicune. By this point, he knows, knows what the deal is. I think we got a Sack Sceptile here. Potentially. Who do we got left? Yeah, I think maybe Ace is going to have to put in some work here for us. Yeah, we want to hold on. We want to hold on to Lucario. So we can't sack that. So yeah, we'll sack here. They're going to commit the Terra. Not 100% sure why. Alright, Terra Water. Probably just for big Hydro Steam. So I'm assuming now they just kind of Hydro Steam their way through. Should be their plan. Alright, good job, Sceptile. Put in work. You put in work. Oh, 
All right, so now we go Yzma here and try to set up a light screen and see what happens. And then we could Thunder Wave this too, potentially. If he doesn't knock us out here, he might. It'll be close. Super close, okay. So now, yeah, we can definitely Thunder Wave this and then hopefully, potentially, clean up with Lucario. Alright, alright. Sorry, I gotta adjust myself here. Alright, so they burn Terra. So Lucario could potentially do the thing. So we will, let's see. Mm, yeah, well, Aurosphere first. We know this does pretty big damage. Perfect. And then hopefully Lucario can just kind of clean up. Alright, Sunlight faded as well, so that's good. Okay, El Dorado coming out. We do have Shadow Ball for this. Oh, that looks, that looks pretty sick, the way it comes off of his hand like that. Well done, Pokemon. Well done. That was pretty cool. Alright, let's see. Our Chalodon... Our Chalodon could still be, a, like, an absolute problem here. Alright, yep, here it comes. Or Sphere. Well, actually, it's still gonna do... It's still gonna do really good damage. Even if it's Assault Vest. Super big damage. In comes the body press, and then we should be able to clean up with Glide Score. And then we just EQ for the win. So pretty good, uh, pretty good game here. Except I'll doing some work, but didn't get to do didn't get to do his thing. Unfortunately, but we do pick up a W here. So solid, solid work. GG's to our opponent. GG's. Alright guys, that is going to do it from me here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed those battles. Here is the team. Um, I'll go into a little bit of detail here, but um, honestly, not the, like, the most super competitive team. Uh, but you gotta try Sceptile, man. You gotta rent this team. You have to at least try to get a Sceptile sweep. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said in the intro, Terra Dragon scale shot was Sword Stance. Um, we got really aggressive early in one of those games. Um, if we had played Sceptile a little more patient, um, I think there was a possibility that we could have um, swept that entire team that game, but um, it was hard to bring Cinderace in as a lead uh, on the Sticky Web guy, because he could have. we could have changed the Sticky Webs back, but then he could have just put him up again, and then, you know what I mean? Then we have Sticky Web the whole time. Anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, uh, Leaf Blade, Earthquake, Scale Shot gives us the best coverage, Sword Stance, we're adamant with Overgrow, as you saw that did come into play, um, earlier in the game. Um, we got Impaired with his brother, Assault Vest, Swampert, uh, Ice Punch, Liquidation, Flip Turn, and Earthquake, really good pivot, there's a lot of pivoting on this team. Uh, Gliscor, nothing crazy, physically defensive, you guys have all fought against Gliscor before, love him or hate him, really good Pokemon, um, came into clutch for us today as well, Dragapult. Curse body with some screens and thunder wave. Love me some Dragapult in every form. Cinderace, my favorite starter from Gen 8. This is the Court Change Will O Wisp set. Really good against King Gambits. And uh, we got the heavy duty boots. Help us Court Change some things away. Not a lot of good hazard control in this team. Um, court Change is really our only um, option. Uh, but anyway, uh, Lucario, Inner Focus. Um, he doesn't really have a lot of great abilities that help him out for the um, special set. So I went with Inner Focus just so like we don't get flinched down because we're modest while we're trying to set up an agility or Shadow Ball or, or whatever it may be. If we need a clutch move, we don't want to get uh, flinched down 
for whatever reason, even by like maybe a fake out or something. So guys, hope you enjoyed. Rep the team THD5 W1. I will also have a pokey paste in the description below. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you subscribed. And I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.